Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY, I'll be making four glamorous decor pillows under $15. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. To start, I'll be making all four pillows. For my first pillow, I'll be using shimmer and silver fabric that I purchased from Walmart. Next, I'll be taking the fabric with the shimmer and facing up, and then I'll take the other half with the shimmer and facing down. Next, I needed a 16 inch circle, so I'll be using this tray and I'll be using a black marker to trace my circle and then I'll be cutting it out. Before I start cutting my fabric, I'll be using pins to hold the fabric in place so the fabric will not start sliding around. For all four pillows, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Once I cut it out, I'll start sealing the edges with my glue gun and I'm trying to get as close as I can to the edges. Once I got towards the end, I left a opening enough to fit my hand through. Once I was done, I'll remove all the pins and then I'll be taking the fabric and I'll be turning it inside out with the shimmering part facing out. For stuffing, I'll be using this travel pillow and I'll be cutting it open and just using the stuffing from the pillow. Next, I took the stuffing and I pulled it apart and then I placed it inside the pillow case and I'll keep repeating the same steps until I feel comfortable with the fullness of the pillow. Once I was done, I'll close the opening by using hot glue by folding the fabric on both sides and pinching it together. And by doing this, you will not be able to see the seam of where I closed it. For pillow number two, I already cut my fabric to size in a square shape and I'll be repeating all the gluing and filling steps. For pillow number three, I'll be using a satin pillowcase that I purchased from Dollar Tree and I'll be using the black one. Next, I took the pillowcase and I turned it inside out so the shiny part will be inside and this will be easier to iron out any wrinkles or creases. I adjusted the camera lighting to make it easier to see the black pillowcase. I'll be using a silver marker to place my markings and my sizes so it'll be easier to see it on the pillowcase. Once that was done, I cut it to size and out of this pillowcase, I'll be making two pillowcases. So I'll be putting the second piece aside. On this pillowcase, both sides are already sewn together. So I only have to hot glue the longer sides. Once I was done, I repeated the same steps and turned the fabric inside out. Next, I'll repeat the same steps with the stuffing until I'm satisfied with the fullness of the pillow. For pillow number four, I'll be repeating the same steps with the other half of the pillowcase. 
since this is the other half of the pillowcase, I did not have to seal the sides because the sides are already sewn together. Now it's time to decorate all four pillows. I'll be starting off with pillow number one. I'll be using this black satin fabric that I cut to size. Next I'll fold both sides in and then I'll pin them in place. I'll be using black thread and a needle and I'll start by tying a knot on the end and then I'll start stitching it in the center going all the way down. Once I was done, I sealed the ends by burning them so they won't unravel. Next, I'll place it in the center on the pillow and then I'll start applying hot glue from one end to the other going in a straight line. Once I glued it on, I press it down gently to hold it in place. Next, I'll be gluing on double strip of diamond wrap in the center. Next, I'll be decorating pillow number two. I'll be using the top part of the pillowcase that I cut off and I'll be cutting it open to make it longer and then I'll glue them together. Next, I'll be using black thread and a sewing needle and I'll start stitching the bottom part and I'll be stitching them close together to make it fringe. Keep in mind when stitching fabric together, it will get shorter. Once I was done, I used the flame of the lighter to seal the edges and I did it very lightly. Next, I'll be using black felt and I'll be using a two inch bottle cap and I'll trace it using my silver marker. Once I was done, I added a drop of hot glue in the center and then I started gluing my fabric together and I will be gluing it going underneath close together. Once I was done, I spread it and fluffed it out and now I have a flower shape. Next, I'll bring back my pillow and I'll apply hot glue on the back side of the flower and then I'll place it on the left hand corner by pressing it down gently. Next, I'll be decorating pillow number three. I'll be using a piece of shimmering fabric that I cut to size and I flipped it upside down with the shimmering facing towards the bottom and then I placed the pillow in the center. I took the corners of the fabric and I glued them in to create a point and then I applied glue on the fabric and I glued it in the center of the pillow. I took the pillow and squeezed the center of the pillow and then I took the opposite end of the fabric, wrapped it around and glued it on the back side. Once I was done, I spread the fabric out a little bit and then I glued it in place on both sides and now I have a bowl shaped pillow. Next, I took a piece of the shimmering fabric, cut to size, and I'll place it upside down. 
and I fold the top and bottom part in and glue them in place. And then I'll be folding the sides in, gluing them in place as well. I took the needle and gray thread and I added one stitch in the center and then I took the fabric and scrunched it together and I wrapped the thread around twice to hold it in place and now I created a smaller bow. Once I was done I applied hot glue on the back side of the bow and then I glued it in the center of the pillow. In the center of the bow, I'll be placing a crown brooch and I'll be using wire cutters to cut the back side of the brooch. I apply hot glue on the back side of the brooch and then I glue it in the center of the bow. Next, I'll be decorating pillow number four. I'll be using the same shimmering fabric that I cut to size and I'll be folding it in half. I'll be cutting three strips four inches wide. I'll be using gray thread and a needle and then I'll fold it in half and then I'll start stitching the bottom. Once I was done, I'll connect the next two pieces together, repeating the same stitching steps. I'll be using this shimmering felt and I repeated the same steps as I did with pillow number two. I apply hot glue on the back side and then I place it in the center and I pressed it down gently. I really do love the way all the pillows turned out and what I love the most is that they are different in their own ways and it only cost me under $15 to make all four. These pillows are perfect to decorate your bedroom, living room, or any room in your home, and they're great for the holidays that are coming up, or as a gift. Here are some holiday pillows that I made a few years back and I made them all under $10 and I'll have this DIY video linked below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY video as much as I enjoy creating it. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.